One of the most interesting New Deal programs was known as the Federal Music Project. What was the Federal Music Project? How long did it exist? Many musicians were hurt badly by the Great Depression. During a time of such economic hardship, there were fewer and fewer people hiring live musicians or paying to attend concerts. These types of performances were considered luxuries, which the average family could no longer afford. Additionally, new technological advancements in recording techniques, primarily records and record players, lessen the need for live musicians. In 1935, the Federal Music Project, or the FMP, was created with the goal of employing as many out-of-work musicians as possible. They would work as instrumentalists, singers, and performers, entertaining people across the nation. Aside from employing the musicians, the project had two other goals. First, they hoped to provide a much-needed distraction for common people who were suffering through the economic crisis. Also, they hoped to bring a higher level of culture and sophistication to their audiences. Because of the economic hardships, admission to these concerts was offered at very inexpensive prices or, oftentimes, for free. The FMP had other projects as well. Aside from entertaining the masses, the FMP also intended to educate them. Trained musicians working for the FMP offered music instruction for those who could not afford private lessons. It also created community orchestras and choirs, as well as starting music programs for children. The FMP became so successful that most schools in the nation had their own music program. The final mission of the FMP involved researching, collecting, and preserving America's musical heritage. FMP workers scoured the country to record or write down every song they could. Every type of music was cataloged, from hillbilly, to jazz, folk, creole, gospel, and African American. Unfortunately, like many of the other New Deal programs, the Federal Music Project's budget was reduced in 1939. That same year, the project was renamed the WPA Music Program. A year later, it was terminated altogether. The Federal Music Project lasted only four years, but it was quite successful in that time. FMP musicians performed thousands of concerts for millions of people. There were also more than 30 orchestras created across the nation, as well as countless local singing groups. Perhaps most importantly, the music of the nation's common people was collected and preserved for future generations.